So let's see how we can scrape property details from Silo property listings. So we are using WebHavi and let's first load the Silo website within WebHavi's browser. And the first step is actually to navigate to the listings page from which you wish to extract property details. So let's perform a search. And Silo will show the property results for the location where you searched for. And we can also filter the results. We can select or remove any of these options so that it shows only those properties which you are on interested in. So once that is done, we can start the configuration by clicking the start button and then start selecting the data which we need. So let's start with the address. Let's also get the price, capture text, price. And let's scroll down the page. Now for scrolling down the page, do not use this bar here because if you try to scroll using pulling that bar using the mouse, the capture window will come up. So instead use the scroll wheel of your mouse or laptop. Use the scroll action to scroll down to the bottom and click on the next page link and set it as the next page link so that WebHavi knows how to go through each of these pages and select or scrape the data which we select. So let's come back to the first listing and let's follow this listing so that it opens the listing details page from where we can select additional data. So we click on this link and select follow this link option. So WebHavi opens up the property details page and from here we can select additional data like bets, watts and this should be the area Let's also get the estimate by directly clicking on it. And if I scroll down, I can select the various facts and figures of the property for which it is recommended that you use the capture following text method. So click on the heading text, which you need to extract and then select the capture following text option, which brings up its value yeah. Then click on the capture text. Let's also select the pricing history for this property. For that, click on the price history heading. Again, select the capture following text option and then click the capture text. Same way we can get the tax history. And all other details can be extracted either by directly clicking on it or by using the capture following text method. So now let's let's extract the agent contact numbers for this property for that click on the contact agent button and then select the click option so it will bring up the pop-up which shows the name of the contacts and their phone numbers so this will be the agent one and this will be phone number one for agent one similarly agent two phone number two Agent 3, phone number 3. At this point, let's stop the configuration and let's start mining data. Then this is where WebHavi actually performs the mining for multiple pages or for the number of pages which you specify here. So click on the start button. WebHavi will load the exact same page for which we created the configuration. It will pull all the data which we configured for go to the next page and repeat the process. So you can see that data has started to come up in the data table in the minor window. 
Web Hobby will now be following each property link to load its details page and get additional data. So we hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to share in the comment section below or you can contact our support. The link will be in our website. Thank you.